Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining this morning. Good morning, good morning. It's that time of day. Welcome to the Bible study, July the 24th, 1924, excuse me, 2024, July 24th, 2024, man, I'm trying to take y'all back a hundred years, <laughs> oh, it's good to have you with us, tell your neighbors, tell your friends that Dr. Bridges is on again, we're going to have a good time. Trying to get the bus blowing here. Again, we thank y'all for joining us today. Yeah, we ready to roll. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take a ride. There's a body Bible study right here that ain't no job. Uh, Miss Ernestine, good morning. Ethel Scott, good morning. Mr. John, if you're watching, good morning. Sharon, good morning. Lula, good morning. What's up, Lula? What's up, Terry, if you're watching? Good morning. Nora McCann in Washington, D.C. Good morning. Danette, how you doing? Trustee Crosby, how you doing? Phyllis Arrack, good morning. Sheila Oshila, good morning. Uh, Charlotte and Gaffney, good morning. Mary Ellis, good morning. Aquila, what's up? Good morning. Ruby Michaels, good morning. Big John, if you're watching, good morning. Mary, Mary, Mary. Thomas, good morning. Jacqueline Payton, what's up? How you doing? And a good morning to you. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. All the way from Forest City. Diane, how you doing? Good morning. Glad to have you with us. I need about 15 of y'all to push that share arrow because I'm telling you, it's revival season. Oh boy, I'm excited. Amen. We're excited about this bus ride. We're excited about revival tonight. Amen. At the Clinton Chapel AME Zion Church, where the very fine pastor is Reverend Rick Woods. We're on our way to York tonight. Again, we're going to have a wonderful good time. Tina, good morning. Let me blow the horn a couple more times. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's time to get on the bus. Amen. We're going to have a good time today. Vanessa, how you doing? God bless you. Father, thank you for allowing us to assemble today. It is because of your grace and mercy we're here. It is because of your uh, mercy and understanding and patience with us. And we're so glad, oh God, you let us see another day. Oh God, last night somebody laid down and wasn't able to get up. Oh Father, last night somebody laid down and woke up. Oh God, in eternity. But we thank you for one more day to study, one more day to grow, one more day to learn more about you. Oh God, we pray that you allow us, oh God, to grow in such a way that you will be pleased. Uh, we're studying to show ourselves approved unto you that we can work at wildest day. For night will come when no man can work. Get touch our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our hearts to believe. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name. And the people said, Amen. Huh? Did you say Amen? Amen. Uh, Latricia, good morning. Many, all the way. I think you, many, you in Florida or Connecticut. God bless you. Latricia, Sharon. Oh boy, thank y'all for joining us. Amen. We're going to blow the horn more in Bridgeport. God bless you. Amen. All right. I need about 10 more of y'all to push that share out this morning. And Reverend Williams, how you doing, brother? Hope all is well. May God bless you. Come on. I said, come on. Charles Henry Ferguson Jones. Good morning. God bless you. Kendra, how you doing? Oh, really? All right. Thank you. Here we go. We're getting ready to crank it up. I need y'all to turn with me to Matthew 13. 
Boy, that's a good sounding book. Matthew 13. Our base verse today is the verse that said, While men slept, an enemy came. And so what tabs? We're still talking about that. Because that's what the devil will do. Myra, how you doing? Miss Francis Drain, glad to have you with us again. Uh, Trustee Boyce, we're glad you made the bus ride your choice. Huh? Jump on the bus with us. Huh? Matthew 13, we're looking there at verse, amen, uh, 25. Amen. Thank you. Charlotte, you got that? Verse 25. Tarika. Oh, girl, how you doing? Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're improving. May God continue to bless you as you continue to bless him. Amen. Are y'all there? Yeah, there we go. All right. Matthew uh, 13 and verse 26. Amen. I need y'all to read it with me. Amen. I need to get about 10 more shares. Thank you so much. It says, Matthew 13, verse 25. It said, But while men slept, Amen. His enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Amen. Now, that's what the devil will do. The devil is sneaky. Amen. He's tricky. He, he's conniving. He's uh, deceitful. Amen. He's um, one that uh, 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 attempts to, amen, uh, cause trouble for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's his job. He is the Antichrist. He is against Christ. And maybe you going through some things. You think it's about the people, but no, it's not about the people. It's about you and your relationship with Christ. When your relationship with Christ, amen, is uh, is bright. When your relationship with Christ is productive. When your relationship uh, with Christ is on good foundation. Good morning, Randy. But when your relationship with Christ is it, 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 changing lives. What's up, David? What's up, brother? How you doing? Glad to have you with us. When your relationship with Christ is uh, 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 positive, please know that the devil is going to try to make it negative. And so as we look at the scripture, what's up, Ethel? It said, but while men slept, amen, uh, uh, his enemy came. Yeah, the enemy won't come while you're awake. He'll come while you sleep. He'll come again while you're slack. He'll come while you're lazy. He'll come when you're tired. He'll come when you don't feel like going. And that's when the enemy attempts to get the upper hand on you. Huh? Now, notice what it said. It said that uh, the seed was good, but what the enemy brought in was bad. I need somebody to put that on the screen. The, the seed was good. What we do is good, but, but what the enemy does is bad. That's a difference between right and wrong. There's a difference between left and right. There's a difference between night and day. There's a difference between righteous and unrighteous. There's a difference between saved and unsaved. There's, there's a difference between smooth and bumpy. There's a difference, amen, between sticky and prickly. Is there anybody out there know that there is a difference? <laughs> huh? I just want you to know that, 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 that there is a difference. And, and there's a difference between the bitter and the sweet, what the Bible says. And, and that's why we have to train up our children in the way that they should go so they'll learn to choose the sweet and not the bitter. Oh, Lord, there is a difference. Now, as we look here, amen, at, uh, uh, at, at the base scripture, I want you to go with me to Galatians 2 and chapter 4. I don't think we've been there yet. Galatians 2 and chapter 4. Amen. Galatians 2 and chapter 4. We're moving the bus over there to Galatians 2 and chapter 4. Charlotte, I need you to help me out there. Trustee Bonner, glad to have you with us, man. I believe you on here. This thing's going by so fast, oh man. Boy, I got me doing double over here. What's up, Alicia? What's going on? Minister Virginia Lindsay, what's going on? How you doing? Lily Crosby, good morning. 
Huh? Y'all got it? Galatians 2, verse 4. Ramona Benita. <laughs> it's on the bus. God bless you, Ramona Benita. And your family. Georgia Lindo on the bus. With us. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's read that. Galatians 2 and verse 4. It said, And that because of false brethren, unawares brought in. Good God Almighty. Amen. Who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. Uh, did you read that verse with me? Now notice what this verse said. This tells us how the devil tries to uh, come in. Oh, uh, there she is, Sarita LeVay. What's up? I like saying that. Sarita LeVay. What's going on? How you doing? God bless you. Ellie, how you doing? Good morning up there in New Jersey. Amen. It said there in Galatians 2 and verse 4, it said, and that because of false brethren unawares. Now this means that there's some people that's around you, uh, 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 they're false. Huh? They look one way, but they're another. Huh? They look happy, but they're sad. They look sad, but they're happy. Huh? <laughs> uh, they're, 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 they're false. They're not, they're not what you think they is. They, they, they fools gold. Huh? That's not no diamond. That's just some glass. Huh? That's, that's, that's not a man bronze. That's just some plastic painted the color of bronze. Are, are y'all with me here? And that's why it's so important to know that when you, we have to be careful uh, who's around us. Huh? Sometimes those around you are not your family. They, they, they're related by blood, but not by the blood of Jesus. But those around you, are, 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 are they're your neighbors, but they're not neighborly. <laughs> Good God Almighty, is this helping you this morning? Amen. They are, uh, 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 they can call yourself your friends, but, uh, but they're not have been friendly but the bible said if you want friends you got to be friendly but but they're not friendly they they they, they, they the enemy bruce the guitar man how you doing huh is this helping you i i, I hope so because a man god wants us to recognize a man the enemy now uh, you got to recognize the enemy a man when you are on the football field that's why the teens Almost all the time, wear different color shirts. <laughs> huh? Amen. They might have the same colors on them, but 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 the home. A lot of times, according to where you are, sometimes the home team wear the dark color, and the visitor team wear the light color. But but there are some stadiums and teams around the world where the home team want to wear the light color. And the visitor wear the dark color, and uh, but 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 that don't matter. But but what matters is what sideline you on, <laughs> uh, what what bench you go to when you need some help, what what bench you're listening to to help you win the game. And and when the enemy comes, Amen. In Galatians two and verse four, he said he came in privately to spy. Amen. He that they come in, they they want to hang around you to spy on your family. They want to hang around you to spy on what you do. Uh, they want to hang around you to steal your recipe. They want to hang around you, amen, to, 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 to try to imitate what you're doing. But, but the devil, amen, cannot do what God can do. Uh, are you with me? Amen. He'll try, but he can't. Huh? That's why it's important for us to understand that when you sleep or when you slack or when you let your guard down, the devil is trying to position himself to mess you up. Huh? I hope you're listening to me. I want you to win your battle. Huh? I want you to win your battle. I want you to win your battle. Will you write on the screen, amen, I want you to win your battle. Amen. You, you have to win. You have to win. Maddie, how you doing? So glad to have you with us today. Amen. You you have to be careful because the Bible said they came in privately. They were sneaky. They 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 while you sleep, they come in. See, that's the difference between a thief and a robber. See, a robber, 
a, a strong arm robbery is you know they're getting ready to take it. They, they, you see them getting ready to take it. And as a matter of fact, they got a weapon in the hand. They getting ready to take it. They 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 not trying to hide. They don't have nothing over their face. They they they, they don't have them left over COVID mask pulled up. No, Denise, how you doing? Hey Amen. You, you 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 they want you to know who took it and dare you to try to stop it. Y'all would just watch the cowboy movie. Now you stand here. You if you move. Hey Amen. I'm going to get you the next time you see it. You wait two days before you leave here. Hey Amen. They, they, they know you know it, but a thief, he going to disguise himself. A thief going to put on some camouflage. A thief is going to be a chameleon. A, a thief, hey Amen, is going to wear black at night. Hey Amen. A thief, hey Amen, if the wall is green, he going to wear a green shirt. He going to try to blend in with your surroundings. And when you're not looking, it's going to try to take something. See, so that's the difference between a thief and a robber. Now, as we look at this, it said uh, that the thief cometh not. In John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not. That's the devil. The thief, he's called the thief. He cometh not. Amen. Uh, the thief cometh not. He don't come except. He don't come to help. He don't come to bring nothing. He don't come, amen, to give, offer assistance. The Bible said the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and destroy. Always remember that. That's why the thief comes. Are oh, you listening to me? I see your jacket. Denise, Nora, Latricia, Alethea, Annie, Maddie, Bruce, Boys, Mary, and Ramona Benita. Dolly, Sharon, and Arilla, Ruby and Phyllis. Oh, Lord, I see you. Pastor Mintz, I see you right down. You got to win your battle. Huh? You got to win that thing. Thank you, Charlotte, for putting that up there. What's up, Leo? How you feel? What's up, Big Eddie? Hope you're feeling better, man. Hope your body is better. Hope God has restored unto you. Amen. Some strength and some comfort. God bless you. Now, I see you, Ethel and Mary. Now, notice what it said in Galatians 2 verse 4. He said he came privately to spy out your freedom. Deacon Blanton, good morning. Deacon S. Blanton, if you're watching, I'm dot on the spot on the bus with us, riding and gliding, huh? not slipping and sliding. We rolling down the road. Huh? Are you listening to me? Now, it says here, amen, that uh, uh, in Galatians 2 and verse 4, it said that they might bring us into bondage. Yeah, the devil's job is to try to steal your freedom. Thank you. Good morning, Deacon F. Blanton. The devil's job is to try to steal your freedom. Huh? I, get the card. I, 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 I don't know no other way to say it. Just don't let him steal your joy. Huh? That's what he's coming for while you're sleeping. So you, 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 you have to be aware. Amen. You have to be aware. Uh, uh, some of the guys, when they used to camp, amen, when they had their food and they, their weapons and things, they put a lot of twigs over there near the stuff because if they walk on it, it'll make a crack. That's before burglar alarms and all of that. The stick, uh, some brush debris. When they step on it, some, some dried out leaves that'll make a noise that'll get your attention. Huh? See, the devil make a noise that'll get your attention. But you got to understand the noises that the devil make. Yeah? You, 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 you got to know. You got to, you got to know these things so, so that when you find out that an enemy is in the camp, good God Almighty, <laughs> yeah? you, you'll pay attention and you'll be more watchful. Amen. Lisa Shippey, good morning. Amen. I need about 10 people to put on the screen to encourage your fellow bus driver to put on there, be watchful. Huh? The Bible said, be sober, be vigilant, because your enemy, like a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Huh? He, 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 he don't mess with everybody, but, but when you got your guard down, he going to hit you. If you got your guard down, he going to kick you. If you got your guard down, he going to try to knock you down. Is there anybody out there ever had the devil try to sneak in your life? Huh? Some people say they love you, but they don't want you. They want your stuff. Yeah? 
I, I'm, I'm talking about your money, your car, your 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 your, 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 your house. They 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 won't they won't they won't they don't want you. But the way to get to the stuff is through you. <laughs> you better recognize them. If you don't, you're gonna have trouble after a while. If you don't recognize them, you're gonna be sitting in an empty house. If you don't recognize them, hey man, your bank account gonna be empty. If you don't recognize them, you're gonna be riding the skateboard the way. Oh God, am I talking in here to somebody? I hope this is helping you. 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 This is not a, a tore up recording. I'm just saying it many times. I hope this is helping you. I hope this is helping you because, amen, I, I know what I'm saying. And I just want you to know that an enemy, amen, is trying to catch you while you're sleeping. Huh? I need you to move now to 2 Timothy 4 verse 3. Are you moving with me? Is this helping you? Are you growing? You need to know this if you want to be productive. You need to know this if you want to try to teach your children. You want to know this if you're trying to be a good example. You need to know this. You need to know this because if you don't know it, the devil will take advantage of you for the rest of your life. He'll, he'll, he'll do it. He don't care. He don't care that you've been in church. He don't care if you pay your time. He don't care if you pray. Huh? He don't care about that. His job as we read there, is to get you in bondage and mess up what you got going on. Phyllis Arat, my friend up there in Far City, what's going on? Hope the family is well. May God bless you over and over and over and over again. Second Timothy 4 and verse 3. Are you there? Are y'all there? Are you with me? Second Timothy Verse 4, excuse me, chapter 4 and verse 3. Now this is very important. I want you to highlight this if you got a highlighter. If you got your Bible out, amen, you need to, amen, mark this thing and put it to memory. Put it on your notepad. Put it on your iPad. Oh Lord, put it on your Blackberry. Put it on your phone. Put it on your Apple Watch. Put it somewhere. Well, you can grab it quick when you need it. Because you're going to need it. Huh? You're going to need it. Second Timothy 4 and verse 3. Read it with me. Good God, I wish I could hear you. But I need you to read it where you are. Thank you, Charlotte. You got it up there for me. It says, for the time will come. Sherry Harris, glad to have you with us. It says, for the time will come. Amen. Uh, when they will not endure sound doctrine. The time will come when who will not endure sound doctrine? The people of God. The people who say they want to be with God. A lot of people want to be with God, but they, wanna, they don't live like they want to be with God. Huh? They want to uh, be heavenly, but they live in hellish. <laughs> the, first two right, the first two letters is right, H-E. <laughs> huh? The first two letters are right, H E. But heaven is followed by a A. Huh? V E N. Heaven. But in that other place, H E is followed by two hockey sticks. Are you listening to me? Point it to the right. Amen. Are you listening? This it's very important that some people are so close, that's why they're so far away. The devil is deceiving a lot of people. Just because they're close, they think they're there. But just because you're close, don't mean you're close. Uh, the devil will deceive you just because you attend church, that don't make you in church. Just because you attend a job, that don't mean you're working a job. Are you with me? Just because you're in a relationship don't mean you in the relationship. Oh, good God, is this helping you? Just because you are in school don't mean you're a student. Mm-hmm, Lord. <laughs> he said there in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 3, he said, for the time will come. Well, I feel good. And when they will not endure sound doctrine, they will not endure sound teaching. They don't want teaching. They don't want to be taught. 
They don't want to learn. And, and that's how you can tell a lot about a person in Christ or in the church is if they come to Bible study. If they study on their own. Everybody can't make it. But now we, we, we have electronic Bible study. You should be able sometime between Sunday and Sunday and go catch the Bible study and grow a little bit more. You should be able on some Sundays to come to Sunday school and, and be taught by uh, one of our great, amen, associate ministers, amen, or one of our deacons, amen, and, and be taught and grow a little bit. You, you should be able to learn at least one verse a week. Huh? I want to ask you a question. Are you still quoting Jesus wept when somebody asks you to say something about the Bible? Huh? You still rushing to be first and say thou shalt not still. Boy, I remember we was on the choir. When we was on the youth choir, the Sunbeam Choir. Amen. Miss Elizabeth Jolly and my grandmother, Miss Julia Bridges. Amen. Used to have us a quote a Bible scripture before we start singing. And I believe today that if you get in the word before you do what you're supposed to do, you'll do it better. <laughs> See, the word is the foundation. Are you listening to me? Huh? The word will help you do better. What's up, Sharon Wilkins? What's going on? Glad to have you with us. I hope this is helping somebody on our way to glory. Huh? Now, it said there in verse 3, it said that we'll not endure sound doctrine. Doctrine means teaching, instruction, the rules, the precepts. The, uh, 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 the game plan, the play. You, you got to know that. See, a lot of people on the football team I played on through the years, they were fast, but they couldn't remember the play. They, they, they could catch, but they couldn't remember the play. I, 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 are, you, I, are you listening to me? Huh? They, 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 were, they, were, they had skill, but they didn't have the wheel. <laughs> And, and, and the coach knows that. And, and that's why a lot of them uh, 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 don't, don't get to make it in the game. And, and before God puts you over something serious, he has to know he can trust you. He can't put you in the game if you, if, if, if you, if you, 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 you uh, half-hearted. You got to be wholehearted. You got to love the Lord with all your heart. Jackie Payton from Winston-Salem. We got two Jackie Paytons on here today. God bless you. You got to love him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. You got to love him with everything. Huh? That, that, uh, soon as you teach on something they don't like, uh, they'll get mad and, and, and call you a false prophet. <laughs> but the word is true. Huh? The word is consistent. The word brings results. The word, oh Lord, is capable. Of doing exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. The word can do it. But you got to believe the word. You got to study the word. Your word have I hid in my heart. Minister Sirach, glad to have you with us. That I might not sin against God. You got to have the word. Uh, now notice what it said in, in, in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 3. He said, but after their own lust. After their own lust, in, in other words, they make up their own rules. That's why you got to watch people who always want to throw books at you. Huh? Always want to throw uh, stuff at you. Amen. That, uh, uh, show me the Bible. I don't need no manual. I, I, uh, show me the Bible. I don't need no pamphlet. Show me the Bible. I, I, I don't need that uh, that you just ran off this morning. Amen. From your computer. I show me the word. That's why I, when we have Bible study, all you need is your Bible and an open mind. All you need is the word and, and a desire to learn more about it. Amen. It's enough in there to teach us what we need. Yeah, there are times when you might have to do a conference or a lesson and you got a little uh, a, a study plan to assist what you're doing. But you make sure your study plan has the Bible. And not the Bible have your study. Are you with me? Don't try to substitute what you write down from what God wrote down. Huh? Now if it's the same thing, it's okay. But if it ain't the same thing, you you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Huh? 
<laughs> I went back on you then, didn't I? Uh, did I did, did I go back on you? Huh? Just give me an old dusty Bible. <laughs> Uh, the same words that uh, Jesus stood up and read in Luke chapter 4 <laughs> are the same words that was in Isaiah, Isaiah um, chapter 61. Same words. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Good God. See, things change, but the word won't change. I need 10 people to put that on the screen. Savita Levette, you still out there? Ramona, Bono, Ramona Benita, you still out there? Dolores, how you doing? Denise, you still out there? Mary, Vanessa, Phyllis, Minnie, Shelf, trustees, deacons, y'all still out there? But call them mine. I'm just trying to help you understand how this thing works. It'll work for you if you let it. <laughs> the word will make its own gravy if you let it. Uh, the word will make his own pie if you let it. The word will make his own vegetables if you let it. <laughs> but you got to get out the way and let the Lord cook it. Huh? Good God. It said here, a man after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers. In other words, they flock the people who say things they want to hear. Huh? <laughs> that a lot of people use the Bible, but everybody not in tune with it. Janice Petty, my friend, how you doing? God bless you, bless you, bless you. Huh? Uh, Denise throw her hands in the air, holding up like she can. Huh? Deacon Bland, I see you checking in, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Bruce still on the bus. Bruce, we was glad to have you Sunday morning too, man. I'm telling you. Man, you are a blessing. Now, it says here in, in 2 Timothy 4, Amen. They have an itchy ears. Itchy ears mean, Amen. Again, that first part said they will not endure sound doctrine. That don't mean you got a spider down in your ear. <laughs> that don't mean you have an ant down in your ear. That does not mean that you have a man, a, a, a piece of, a, 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 of your bedding down in your ear. It don't mean you have a mosquito down in your ear. Am I talking here? It don't mean that you have a bad Q-tip rubbing it down in your ear. But what that means is that they don't want to hear good news. They don't want to hear about what God said. They won't want to hear about what mom and daddy said. They don't want to hear about what the teacher or the principal said. They don't want to hear about what the president said. They don't want to hear about authority. They go about to establish their own rules. Oh, I found out a long time ago as a child, my life was better when I followed my parents' rules. <laughs> Huh? Is there anybody out there found that out the hard way? I found out my life was easier if I go by my parents' rules. Amen. Huh? What's up, Earl? It's on the bus. Earl on the bus. Huh? Good God. Bad bugs in your ear. I'm reading here a minute what you wrote on the screen. No, that means that you got to do what you're told. You got to do what's asked of you. Captain Braden, huh? The first thing Jesus taught his commandments to me, taught his disciple was to follow me. <laughs> huh? Don't, don't, don't go over it. Follow me. If you want to make it, follow me. If you want to get to the next city, follow me. If you want to see me walk on the water, get on the boat, because... I'm about ready to walk across there, but, but y'all go on first because I want you to see that when I left, I was still on the shore. <laughs> and when I caught up with them, they were almost all the way to the other side. <laughs> huh? And they saw Jesus walking. See, sometimes God will direct you where to go so the lesson or experience that you experience is going to make you be a better person. 
But if you don't go through it, you won't be a better person. Amen. If you don't tackle in practice, amen, my coach Billy said this, if you don't tackle in practice, I can't trust you to tackle in the game. <laughs> Are you with me here? Huh? If you don't catch it in practice, why do you think you're going to catch it in the game? You, you got to, every day you got to be about God's word in business. Huh? You got to be consistent in your effort. Some people, yeah, Sunday is good, but you need the word more than Sunday. You ought to have a devotion every day. I'm not saying it's got to be in the morning. I'm not saying it's got to be before you go to bed. But somewhere, a man between, a man when you get up and lay back down, you ought to read the word a little bit. It said, give us this day our daily bread. And verse 4, 2 Timothy 4 and verse 4, this, this is what we're trying to stop from happening to people. Oh, Lord, we're trying to stop it. And the only way you can stop it is to get good learning. Don't you know that the way you can be a good computer programmer is you got to have a good instructor? It's too much stuff to learn on your own. You have to have somebody else to try to help show you. Amen. Is there anybody in here? Callie's still in Ohio. How you doing? How the family? How Kurt doing? We're praying for y'all. I know the funeral's coming up this weekend. For your sister-in-law. We, we definitely got y'all in our thoughts and prayer. Huh? Is this? Thank you. Thank you, Callie. Thank you so much. Now, as we look here at 2 Timothy 4 and verse 4. I need you to read this. Kimberly Carvey's Cleveland, Ohio. Kimberly Carvey's. Uh, Callie is in Cleveland also. Well, we got Cleveland in the house. Cleveland in the house. Huh? LeBron country. Cleveland in the house. Now, as we look here, I, I had to go back there one more time. Second Timothy 4 and verse 4. I got to make sure you're on the bus. You're riding with us here. I need about 10 more people to push that chair out of though. That's what I need you to do for me. If you don't mind. Huh? What's up, Ethel? At the sky. Amen. It said, and they shall turn away. Is that what your Bible said? Their ears from the truth. Who? Not turn toward the truth, turn away from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Trina, what's up? Layman, what's up? Glad to have y'all with a visa rat in Cleveland too. Boy, we got a Cleveland reunion on here today. What's up, V? Glad you're with me on the bus with us. Huh? Are y'all with me? Trustee who I see you put it there. Second Timothy 4 and 4. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> Notice what it said. If you got false teachers and you turn away from God, you're going to turn away from the truth. And, and fables mean lies. Fables mean fairy tales. Fables mean untruthful things. Turn from the truth and hook on to a lie. Good call of man. And latch on to it. I need, I need everybody that can come in to write this down. Encourage yourself and your fellow a Bible study, amen, uh, participants today. You tell them, amen, to, amen, this way. Amen. You, the devil, uh, amen, wants to mess you up. You cannot do that. Now, I need everybody to write, stay with the truth. The truth will set you free. That, that's why I want you to put it on the screen. What's up, Tina? Uh, uh, can, can you put that on the screen? Stay with the truth. The truth will set you free. Uh, uh, did you put that down? I'm, I'm, we're trying to grow here this morning on the bus. Stay with the truth. Huh? <laughs> Stay with the truth. I want you to do me a favor. This, this verse is not one that I had down to go to. But I need you to go to John 14 and verse 6. St. John 14 and verse 6. 
What's up, Mitch? What's up, Jack? Gibbs, what's up, Lonnie? I see you, Nora and Phyllis. Maddie. Trusty Bonner, Shaft. Shaft, who is the man? Take up for his brother, man. Shaft. Hey, you digging? I see you digging, Blanton. Stay with the truth. Huh? Sometimes the truth will get you in trouble. Huh? But when the investigation is done, <laughs> that same truth, that same evidence will get you out of trouble. Huh? Oh, Lord. It'll get you out of trouble. Hmm? <laughs> Stay with the truth. It is such a free. Huh? That's why you got to watch people who lie all the time. Huh? You got to stay with the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. But it'll help you down the road. Huh? Amen. John 14 verse 1. Are you there yet? Because this is the key. Thank you, Miss Ernestine. I like that. She come in. And, boy, she got it going on. Ramona Benita. Eh? Randy. Patricia Ethel Bruce Diane. Mary Charlotte Georgia. Uh, Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> Up in New York. But before she got there. She. Walk from Gaffney, South Carolina. Huh? Y'all heard my new song now. Are y'all there? John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way. If you want to make it, follow me. He said, I am the truth. Amen. If you want to know, Listen to what I'm telling you and retain it. Don't turn away from it, but you retain it. Huh? And he said, I am the life. If you want your life to be more abundantly, I, if you stay with me, it'll get better. I hope that helped you. Jesus said, I'm the truth. So when people try to go against what God said or what Jesus said, they're turning away with each and ears away from the truth. People that don't like church, don't like preaching, don't like the gospel, don't like fellowshipping. They have turned their ears from the truth and have believed a fable, a uh, uh, false statement saying uh, that uh, you can make it without the church. You can make it without the Lord. You can make it without the Bible. No! No, 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 no. Uh, you, you can try to make it, but you won't make it. You can head that way, but you won't make it. Huh? You may progress a little bit, but you won't make it. Huh? You might get closer, but you won't make it. And he said, I am the way. Huh? I, I, Jesus said it plainly, it's in red. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Yes, he said he's the light, but a lot of times, again, this is one of the most misquoted scriptures in the Bible. This John 14 verse 6, one of the most misquoted verses in the Bible. Amen. We're going to read it together one more time. I want you to go with me there. John 14 and verse 6. Amen. I, 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 I want you to, to, to look at it with me and we're going to put this thing down together. We're going to look at the words in red. We know Jesus said it. Amen. Are you with me? I need about 10 more of y'all to push that chair out. Are you with me? Huh? Oh Lord, are you with me? It said, verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Y'all got that? Yes, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. But when this particular verse is quoted, most of the time it's misquoted. And that's why it's important for us to say it right. Huh? We got to say it right. We got to say it right. Not what you heard mama say, grandma say, what they say at work. But sometimes, if we're not careful, even sometimes I might say things wrong. And, and I got to say, oop, I'm sorry. 
I got to look it up myself and say it. That's why I like to look at it myself and, and say it. That's why I like to look at it myself and read it. That's why I look at myself and meditate on it. And that's why I like to look at it myself. I wish I could hear you saying it. Eh? Yeah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you. I'm seeking that. I'm looking at my screen. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? That's important now. Because when you're quoting them together, make sure you say it right. But if you're not quoting them together, it's okay. Because God is a whole bunch of things. Huh? He's light. He's bread. He's the shepherd. He's the good shepherd. Huh? He, he, Teresa, how you doing? God bless you. He's all of that. Uh, and a whole lot more. Yeah. Yeah, the light that gives light. I like that, Reverend Williams. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But let's try when we quote it, to quote it right. God bless you. We got to move on here. I need you to go back. Right, let me see if there's anything else on 2 Timothy we need to touch. 2 Timothy. Let me look before we get over there. Well, I'm telling you, I get happy sometimes. 2 Timothy. Yeah, 2 Timothy. Let's go back over there to 2 Timothy 4 and verse 5. I need you to move with me back over there. Tina, Deaconess Blanton, Ethel, Callie, Jackie. Rem Williams, Nora, Wayne, if you're watching, how you doing, man? God bless you. Well, I'm telling you, we got a wonderful group of people on this bus today. I need about 10 more of y'all to push that share out if you haven't touched it yet. Because it's revival season. It's time to go hear some good preaching. It's time to grow. It's time to, 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 to refocus. It's time to recommit. Amen. It's time to prepare for the winter. Amen. It's, uh, we, we got to build up our soul. That's what revival is all about. The revival is about sound doctrine. The revival is about making sure you got the fundamentals. Revival is about, amen, making sure we can be a good example to those we encounter. Amen. Revival is about, amen, losing those curse words and finding some blessed words. <laughs> I hope this is helping you. I hope this is helping you. Amen. Second Timothy 4 and verse 5. Are you ready? Charlotte, you got it up for me. Thank you for sharing it, Minnie. It said, but watch thou in all things. Amen. You got to watch. Huh? Amen. You, you, you have to watch. Amen. You got to look around sometimes. Because the, remember that scripture said in 2 Timothy, excuse me, in Matthew 13 and 25, it said, Wow, men slept, the enemy came. Huh? Yes, you got to rest and sleep, but you still got to be watchful. Because the devil will try to steal your joy. He'll try to mess up your life. He'll try to mess up your family. He'll try to mess up your job, career, your church. He'll mess up anything, your organization, the organization you in, your organizing. He he don't care about what he mess up. Huh? He'll make the dog mad at the cat. He'll make the puppy bark at the dog. Are you listening here? He'll make the giraffe throw his neck at the zebra. He he doesn't want to start confusion. He don't care. Amen. He'll make a man, the blue jay, run the cardinal off. And he'll make the cardinal run the robin off. And he'll make the robin run off a man, the, the wrens and the doves. Huh? But when the doves run off, uh, you can hear the doves cry. Huh? Maybe. Amen. You can't get me standing. Lone in a well so cold. Huh? <laughs> huh? Maybe night like my mother, she never satisfied. Why do you scream and I love? This is what it sounds like when the dove cries. Y'all don't know about that dead old prince, huh? Huh? 
See, when the devil uh, is involved, you make sounds you wouldn't ordinarily make. You say things you wouldn't ordinarily say. You, your, 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 your love will become hate. Nah? Your, your joy will become junk. Are you listening to me? Nah? Oh, Lord, your peace will become a destruction. <laughs> That's why you can't let the devil in. You got to stay with the truth. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you got to stay with the truth. Now, you listening to me. It said in verse 5, watch thou in all things. You got to watch all things. It said, endure afflictions. Good call of mine. People don't want to hear that. Uh, they want to quit when things get hard, but you got to endure affliction. Uh, can you put that out there in capital letters? Uh, uh, endure affliction. That's what it said. You, you got to endure some things. You, you got to endure afflictions. And most people, when they get tough, they quit. Hey Amen. I've seen people at football practice. Hey Amen. We just did one thing. Man, I'm quitting. You quitting? It, it's designed to be hard. It's designed to hurt. It's designed to help you get used to difficulty. It's designed to not be comfortable. It's designed to make you breathe heavy. It's designed to make you want water when you finish. It's designed to make your lungs uh, improve. It's designed to build up your thigh muscles. It's designed to build up your biceps. It's designed to build up your neck. It's designed to build up your fingers so that when you hold the ball, you won't be so easy to fumble it in the game. Is this helping you? It's going to be tough. Amen. Being a Christian is tough. And the devil bothers some folk time they come to church because the first time somebody asks them, hey man, hey man, do you still drink? He ain't coming back no more. He, he didn't, they didn't have to ask me if I still drink. Man, they still can smell it. They know it. But you got to endure that. And you got to adapt and make the changes so that they can see Jesus in you completely. Huh? Are, are you with me? You can't hang around the pig pen and expect not to smell like it. Huh? You can't hang out. With a dead skunk and a speck not to smell like it. Is this helping you? What's up, Kissel? How you doing? How the family? God bless you. Glad you on the bus with us. You got to endure a flip. I see Alethea Mary, Minister uh, Surratt, child. Amen. Now, somebody, I, want, I'm not, I need somebody to type on there, whoever can. So you got to get tougher than what you are. I just need you to put that. Some of people are so weak, but they want people to think they're so deep in Christ and so strong, but they're so weak, and that's why they always in the middle of something. If your faith is stronger than what you say it is, you won't complain so much. If your faith is where you say it is, what well, does it matter if they tell you and look at you and tell you that uh, your pocketbook ain't the right shade of blue? Huh? So what? It's still blue. So what? You still got your stuff in it. So what? It's still under your arm. So what? Hey Amen. It's still carry what you needed to carry. So what? It's rainproof and it's raining. And some people get upset about the littlest thing. And that's what the devil's job is. His job is to find the weak link and try to make them to run out. Huh? He'll find a weak link in a couple and try to get you to leave the one you love. <laughs> but you got to endure. I tell young couples all of that. The Bible said. Amen. That what God has joined together. Good God Almighty. <laughs> it didn't say what the world has joined together. It said. But what God has joined together. <laughs> Let no man pull it asunder. Hey Amen. I heard from quote mis people misquote that too. They said, let, let, let no man put it under. No, it didn't say let no man put it under. It said let no man pull it asunder. That means to pull apart. Asunder is different from under. 
Oh Lord, is this helping you? <laughs> Are you growing today? Uh, are you growing? I hope this is helping you. Because it's sure helping me. You got to be tougher than that. You got to be tougher than that. Stop being a, a wimp. And start being a winner. Huh? Huh? A lot of people right now ain't on the choir because they, they're weak. Amen. They, they, their feelings got hurt. Amen. When they, when they ask you and told you, no, we're not ready to sing that song because you don't have good rhythm. Don't get mad. Just, 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 just listen. And, and maybe God don't want you to be a leader. He just wants you to be a background singer. Huh? You fit better there. If you're going to help the choir. Huh? <laughs> See, you got to be used where you best help at. See, sometimes where you think you best at is not where you best at. I know a lot of people went out for quarterback, but, 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 but as the practice went on, they, they ended up somewhere else. Huh? Are you listening to me? Where you want to play, a lot of times, is not where you need to play. Or not where God wants you to play. You got to be where God wants you to be to be effective. Well, I don't know who this is for. But I hope you have a tough skin and just understand that what you thought with your uh, being carried away uh, with that uh, 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 strange doctrine in them itching ears is pulling you away from where God really wants you to be. Oh, boy. But you got to endure affliction. And then it said, there, I got to get out of here. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. In other words, you don't have to be a licensed preacher to be an evangelist. You don't have to be an ordained pastor to be an evangelist. Uh, evangelist means that you're somewhere on the move trying to be an angel for the Lord. What's up, Jennifer, my friend, Lady Duncan? How you doing? How Pastor Randy? How the family? Huh? Are you listening? Are you with me? GP, are you with me? Huh? God's people. God's property. Are you with me? <laughs> Oh yeah, we haven't church ain't going nowhere. <laughs> huh? It says, so you got to be careful there. We good, all right. God bless you. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Now, we're getting ready to close this thing out and pray. Huh? We're getting ready to move into prayer. Huh? We're getting ready to move into prayer. But before we move into prayer, I need you to back that thing up. We're going to back it up one time. Charlene Little John, how you doing? God bless you. Lisa, if you own, how you doing? How y'all mama doing? God bless you. Huh? We, 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 we're trying to help you here. We're going to back that thing up. I need you to back that thing up. Huh? I need you to go back to John 14 and verse 6. I need you to go back to John 14 and verse 6. We're going to back it up. Did you bag it up? Huh? Did you bag it up? <laughs> I want to know if you bagged it up. Patricia Hawthorne, how you doing? Glad to have you with us. Thank you, Lutricia. I had a good time on the study, too. Boy, Lord knows I did. We're going to read this one more time. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Oh, slamming on brakes. Oh, ah! I'm telling you. <laughs> Charlie, what you laughing about? You laughing at me bagging up? <laughs> well, we had a time. We had a time. God bless you. I love you so much. And I thank you for joining us today. Pray for Callie and her family. Kurt, his sister, went home to be with the Lord. Amen. And her services will be held this weekend in Cleveland, Ohio. Again, we extend our deepest sympathy to all of you connected with this family and other bereaved families. Amen. Uh, her name was Tony Young. We pray for Ethelene Ray. Amen. She's a sister of our very own Deacon Earl Posey. Amen. And, and Deaconess Posey's sister-in-law. Service for her will be Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Island Creek Baptist Church. 
Please keep them. Pray for Terry Womack. Amen. We're praying for Terry Womack. Amen. Had open heart surgery. We're praying for Terry Womack. Amen. Amen. We're also praying for uh, uh, again the Hollis family. Amen. Uh, services last week for James Butterball Hollis. And we're praying much for uh, just other bereaved families. Praying for again our country. Amen. We're in the middle of uh, a shift. We're in the middle of history. So I'm just going to ask you to pray and uh, pray for God's will. Because God's will is what we need to pray for. God knows what's best for us before <laughs> we even ask Him. Huh? You don't have to say a lot. Just pray. Huh? Whisper prayer in the morning. Y'all help me. Oh, whisper prayer. At noon, oh, whisper a prayer in the evening. It will keep your heart in June. Good God of mine, I feel like singing there. Oh, whisper, good God, a prayer in the morning. I'm trying to get somebody to praise him. Oh, it's new time. Whisper a prayer. We're going to sing in a minute. At noon. Oh, whisper a prayer in the evening. And will keep in your heart. It will keep your heart. I see you, Lamanda. Oh, it will keep in your heart. And up and to the God Almighty. Sometimes you got to have church by yourself. Huh? How many know you can get, you get yourself happy sometimes? Huh? You ought to try it. You just might like it. Pray for us tonight. We're going to be in a revival tonight. At the Clinton Chapel, AME Zion Church in York, South Carolina, we coming. 7 p.m. with my friend, the Reverend Rick Woods, is the very fine pastor. Oh, uh, we on the way. Earl, we on the way. We'll be there. Amen. God bless you. Pray for God to save somebody, to heal somebody, to restore somebody, and to, uh, to renew and uh, uh, rejuvenate somebody. I'll see you. Good God Almighty. Uh, Cynthia. Oh, you needed that. I did too. I did too. I did too. God bless you. Huh? What else we got going on? Think of the Mountain this week. Amen. They are having the family day from 9 to 2 at the association building. Amen. You want to have your family. You want to go have some fun. Amen. And what else is going on? There's so much going on this weekend. But we thank God for you and for the plans that you have. Uh, again to share Sunday morning last thing uh, we're gonna have Women's Day women will be in charge uh, we want to thank Miss Mary Jolly president of our missionary number two uh, coordinating this worship amen we're gonna have a wonderful choir singing and we're going to have our very own Minister May Francis Surratt preaching the word God bless you amen I love you and God loves you too yeah Reverend Wallace thank you Pray for Reverend Wallace and his family. Again, his wife had surgery on last Friday. Amen. She's uh, still recovering, still have some uh, intensive uh, care moments. We're praying much for her uh, health and recovery. Heard um, Reverend Makeupson was also in the hospital, Boo Boo Rashford. Amen. And, and the list goes on and on. Amen. I'm praying for you. You pray for me. Amen. I know what prayer I can do. Father, thank you again for how you blessed us. Oh, God, we want to thank you for this uh, Bible study today, for this Holy Ghost bus ride. God, that taught us uh, uh, about uh, staying with the truth. God, uh, that the enemy will come and try to get us to believe a fairy tale, a lie, uh, a false statement to try to get us off of your word. Oh, God, we thank you now. We pray, oh, God, that you will bless those under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, that you will bless those that are going through difficult times. 
For we said and heard today that the word said endure afflictions. Being on the rough side of the mountain is part of being a Christian. Being a man on the Lord's side is part of going through tough times. And Father, thank you for it because we know that you're able to carry us through. God bless those under the sound of my voice. Bless those children getting ready to go back to school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm watching and praying. I'm praying with my eyes open. Yeah? Then you don't have to close them all the time. But God, we thank you. Bless the men and women. Bless the boys and the girls. Bless, oh God, the rabbits and the squirrels. And bless the, the frogs. And God bless the hogs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, Lord, when it's all said and done, when we, oh God, have ate our last chicken, we pray, oh God, that we'll be with you in heaven kicking. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Huh? Did you say amen? I'm about to leave you now. I hope you have a good day. Keep God first. Hope you have shared this Bible study. If you haven't hit your share ever yet, now's a good time to push it and push it real good. May God bless you now, henceforth, and forevermore. I'm going to look for you Sunday morning. We're going to have a good time. Huh? Pray with us. Stay with us. In Jesus' name. Amen.